All right, back to work on this Monday. A lot of storylines to bring your way throughout Jacksonville's morning news. We're live until 10, and we're always streaming in the WOKV app. Mike Burrish is tracking now Tropical Storm Idalia, likely to go hurricane at any point, and could actually strengthen into a major Category 3 hurricane before landfall early Wednesday morning somewhere in Florida's Big Bend. What it means here at home will continue to change and evolve, so stay up to date on the forecast. But right now, Mike says his greatest concern locally is going to be winds with the potential of tropical storm force or hurricane force winds inland west of I-95 through the day on Wednesday. We're not expecting a major rain event out of Idalia, anywhere between two to four inches around Highway 301, one to three inches perhaps along the I-95 corridor to the beaches. Storm surge also not a significant threat. It looks like the winds and the potential for tornadoes will be the biggest threats, but a lot will change with this forecast. So make sure you're listening in for updates throughout Jacksonville's morning news and stay up to date on 104.5 W. WOKV in our hurricane guide. Preparations today and Tuesday can be very uh, timely ahead of the peak storm impacts. We continue to swarm all the angles of the racially motivated shooting attack at the Dollar General in Newtown on Saturday. A vigil is planned for 6 o'clock tonight at James Weldon Johnson Park across from City Hall. We have a special 9 a.m. hour of Jacksonville's morning news dedicated to the community and dedicated really to healing. Hear from community leaders, from Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan to the Sheriff, TK Waters to other community stakeholders about what can be done and should be done to better heal as a community. We'll be all over the storyline as we continue to focus on the investigation here at home and also the federal hate crimes investigation that's been opened up. A lot to still unpack for you. Stay tuned to 104.5 WOKV for continuing coverage of these and other stories. We're live until 10 and we'll be live throughout the duration of the threats, whatever Idalia happens to bring this week.